The New Orleans Saints come off their bye week with a one game lead in the NFC South thanks to a Tampa Bay Buccaneers loss last Sunday. With seven games left in the season, the Saints will play divisional opponents in four of those games. First, facing rival Atlanta Sunday. The Falcons boast the best record in the division against divisional opponents at 2-0. New Orleans is disappointed with a 5-5 record. However, they're confident they can snap their playoff drought and win the division. And it all starts Sunday. We're we not where we, where we want to be right now, 5-5. Five five. Um, but we got a good opportunity um, this week to uh, play a you know, divisional rival. You know, it's going to be a hyped up game. You know, definitely want to finish this you know, back half of the season on a positive note, a strong note, and just continue to, to kind of hold our place, you know, in the division, you know, as number one. This is the most important game mm -hmm. because it's the next game. Um, now I'm sure there's there's ramifications down the line, but we have a chance here to take, take control of our own destiny with these next seven games. And if we can make the most of this, we can squeeze all the juice that we need to out of it. We can then elevate ourselves and push ourselves to a playoff run. This, it starts with this game. Both the Falcons and Buccaneers are one game back at the Saints heading into Sunday's game. A win would give New Orleans a two game lead over the Falcons. As for what the Buccaneers do, there's a whole bunch of situations that could play out. Reporting from the Saints practice facility for your go black and gold. I'm Sarah Palczewski.